The sperm whale reigns as a true wonder of the ocean world. These creatures, known as the largest toothed predators, traverse the ocean's depths with an array of unique abilities. Among their most intriguing characteristics is the production of ambergris, which is a substance that has long captivated human imagination and desire. Our story about these fascinating mammals begins with a remarkable event. A fishing crew of 35 men from Yemen, while navigating the waters of the Gulf of Aden, stumbled upon a shocking discovery. They encountered a deceased sperm whale and were unaware that this encounter would lead them to an extraordinary fortune. Hidden within the whale was a 280-pound mass of ambergris, often referred to as floating gold. This rare find was valued at an incredible one and a half million dollars. Ambergris, a unique byproduct found solely in the digestive tracts of sperm whales, is a coveted ingredient in the world of perfumery. Prestigious perfume brands like Chanel and Lanvin treasure ambergris for their ability to enhance and prolong the scent of fragrances. This waxy aromatic substance is a result of the whale's diet, predominantly consisting of cephalopods such as squid and octopus. The indigestible parts of these creatures, like sharp beaks, combined with a special waxy secretion from the whale's intestines, occasionally leads to the formation of ambergris. Sharing the ocean with the sperm whale is the majestic blue whale. While both mammals are ocean giants, they are quite different from each other. In terms of size, the sperm whale at 67 feet is formidable, yet it pales in comparison to the true ocean giant, the blue whale. Nearly doubling in length and tripling in weight compared to its sperm whale counterpart, the blue whale proudly claims the title of the largest animal to have ever existed on Earth. The sperm whale, among the diverse cetaceans, is notable for its impressive set of teeth. As a toothed whale, or odontocetae, it possesses over 300 conical or wedge-shaped teeth, showcasing its unique dental arsenal. Echolocation, a remarkable ability, enables these giants to navigate their vast aquatic environment with precision by emitting high-frequency sound pulses. In contrast, the blue whale deviates significantly in dental strategy. As a member of baleen whales or mysticetes, it entirely lacks teeth. Instead, it relies on baleen plates made of keratin, the same material as human hair and nails. These plates, hanging from the upper jaws, acts as a natural sieve. Blue whales use this distinctive feeding technique to filter and consume swarms of small fish and zooplankton, which is a highly effective approach in the expansive ocean pantry. In this aquatic world of giants, a particular sperm whale carved a niche in human history and imagination. Mocha Dick, a legendary figure of the Pacific, was famed for his striking albinism and impressive stature. Often sighted near the remote Mocha Island off Chile's coast, his story, captured by the American explorer Jeremiah N. Reynolds, became the inspiration for Herman Melville's iconic 1851 novel Moby Dick. In Melville's narrative, Mocha emerges as a whale of singular beauty, adorned with a wrinkled snow-white forehead and a towering hump. His body, a canvas of white and gray, suggested a size that could surpass all others of his species, possibly extending to an awe-inspiring 90 feet. Mocha was a veteran of countless confrontations with whalers, as he's renowned for his strength and his ability to dismantle boats with a mere sweep of his tail. His distinctive spout, shooting a lofty and vertical stream of water, further cemented his legendary status among seafarers. Despite his formidable reputation, Mocha Dick was known for his initial docility, resorting to aggression only when provoked. This behavior, combined with his unique coloration and a head adorned with barnacles, rendered him an unforgettable character in the lore of the sea. Sperm whales boast a distinctive presence in the marine world as their large square heads and S-shaped blowholes make them easily recognizable. The sperm whale family, which includes the classic sperm whale as well as its smaller relative, the pygmy and dwarf sperm whales, creates a diverse portrait of aquatic majesty. Within the genus Physetter, the sperm whale stands as a colossal figure among its kind, ranging an impressive 49 to 60 feet and weighing a staggering 35 to 45 tons. These giants are renowned not only for their size. In sharp contrast, the pygmy and dwarf sperm whales, members of the Kogia genus, are a mere fraction of their larger cousin size. The pygmy, surpassing a dolphin in size, measures a modest 11 feet and weighs around 880 pounds. 
The dwarf sperm whale, even more diminutive, reaches a mere 6 feet 7 inches to 8 feet 10 inches, with a weight ranging between 300 and 600 pounds. Despite their smaller stature, these relatives are no less remarkable. The disparity in size is not just among species, but also within the sperm whale family itself. Male sperm whales tower over their female counterparts, reaching a staggering length of about 24 meters, which is approximately 78.7 feet and a weight of up to 50 metric tons. Females, in contrast, are much smaller, typically less than 14 meters, which is about 45.9 feet in length and weighing under 25 metric tons. This significant size difference between males and females is a hallmark of the sperm whale species. The societal structure of sperm whales is also as intricate as its gender-specific. Female sperm whales and their calves band together in matriarchal pods. Females embark on the journey of motherhood approximately every 4 to 20 years, dedicating over a decade to nurturing each calf. They reach sexual maturity when they grow to about 11 meters in length. Conversely, mature male sperm whales known as bulls often lead solitary lives, save for the mating season. They attain sexual maturity at a length closer to 15 meters. During breeding times, these males briefly join the female pods for mating. Outside of this period, they typically live alone or form bachelor groups, roaming the vast oceans independently. Sperm whales, beyond these feats, possess deep cultural significance. In the traditions of the Maori, the indigenous Polynesian people of New Zealand, whales, particularly the sperm whale or paroa, were held in high esteem. Their teeth and bones were fashioned into ornate objects of significance. The Maori bestowed specific names and titles upon different whale species, reflecting their intricate understanding and respect for these beings. The cultural reverence for whales is also vividly depicted in Maori carvings and motifs, such as the pekeke, which often narrates tales of whales and their interactions with Maori ancestors. The Maori have woven numerous tribal tales that narrate the origins and significance of whales. In one belief, the sea god Tangaroa is revered as the originator of all marine life, including whales. Venturing beyond these cultural shores, the mysterious hunting strategies of sperm whales have continued to captivate both the scientific community and ocean enthusiasts worldwide. Their preferred prey, the elusive jumbo squid, hides in the depths of the Pacific Ocean, measuring up to 6 feet in length and weighing around 100 pounds. Sperm whales, with their voracious appetite for these cephalopods, devour an estimated 220 billion pounds annually. This staggering figure astonishingly rivals the global catch of all commercial fisheries and has consistently eluded scientists due to the challenges that come with deep ocean exploration. However, recent scientific efforts led by marine experts like William Gilly and Randall Davis are using electronic tags on sperm whales and squid to discover the intriguing interactions between predators and prey in the deep sea, revealing the mysteries of the ocean's depths. The tags, detached and transmitting data weeks later, show amazing behavioral patterns. Jumbo squid, tagged in this study, primarily inhabit depths ranging from 600 to 1300 feet during daylight hours. But at night, they ascend toward shallower waters, likely in pursuit of shimmering prey like lanternfish and krill. This depth shift reflects the natural rhythm of the sea, where smaller marine creatures move up and down with the sun, engaging in an endless cycle of feeding and hiding. This brings us to the tale where the predatory nature of the sperm whale starkly intersects with human lives. The narrative of the Essex, an American whaling ship, begins with its launch in 1799 from Nantucket, Massachusetts. The Essex set sail in August 1819 for what was anticipated to be a standard whaling expedition, yet in the southern Pacific Ocean on November 20, 1820, the vessel met an extraordinary and grim fate. A sperm whale, in an unprecedented act, struck and sank the Essex, leaving its 20-man crew adrift, a daunting 2,000 nautical miles from South America. Confronted with this catastrophe, the crew hastily sought refuge in three small whale boats equipped with scant provisions. After a grueling month at sea, they found temporary respite on the desolate Henderson Island. While three chose to remain there, the others pressed on towards South America. They endured extreme thirst, hunger, and exposure. In their dire struggle for survival, they were driven to the unthinkable act of cannibalism. 
and by February 1821, a mere five of the initial 17 men were rescued, having survived an ordeal beyond imagination. In this shadowy ocean world, the name sperm whale carries a tale as curious as the creature itself. The moniker originated from a misunderstanding during the era of early seafarers. When they encountered the waxy, oily substance in the whale's head, they mistakenly believed it to be sperm. This substance, known as spermaceti, remains a puzzle, possibly aiding in buoyancy or playing a role in the whale's sonorous, stunning vocalizations, which is a tool for navigation and perhaps hunting in the vast ocean. Despite their might and mystery, sperm whales encounter formidable adversaries in the ocean's depths. In response, these giants have evolved intricate survival strategies. One such tactic is the Marguerite Formation, which is a defensive arrangement first observed by Nishiwaki in 1962. Resembling the petals of a daisy, the whales organize themselves in a circular formation at the surface. Their heads may point inward, forming a wheel's hub, or outward, like the spokes of a wheel facing the surrounding threats. This behavior shows their intelligence and social cohesion, which often occurs in response to attacks from oceanic predators like killer whales and pilot whales. Recorded incidents reveal that this formation serves as a shield against the onslaught of killer whales. Noteworthy occurrences include the southern right whales off Argentina and a remarkable sighting off southern Sri Lanka. In this instance, sperm whales clustered in the defensive marguerite posture, marking a first in the northern Indian Ocean. Beyond these displays of solidarity lies another fascinating aspect of sperm whale biology, their sleep. These majestic creatures have evolved a fascinating way of resting in the ocean's embrace. Unlike smaller cetaceans, sperm whales can hold their breath for extended periods, allowing them to remain submerged and motionless while sleeping. Their lung capacity far surpasses that of orcas, enabling them to exchange a greater volume of air with each breath. In fact, sperm whales, like most whales, have the intriguing ability to sleep with one eye open keeping one brain hemisphere awake to ensure they remember to breathe. Alternatively, they can hold their breath for such extended periods that they manage to sneak in a nap between breaths. Adaptation not only facilitates their deep dives, but also allows them to maintain a higher tolerance for carbon dioxide, which happens to be a crucial factor in their ability to slumber beneath the waves. However, these creatures display so many wonderful abilities that they never cease to amaze mankind, inviting more scientific exploration of them.